Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500 and welcome back to the first day of the repair of the new project. First thing I'm going to do is try and get that glass done and then we can get all the glass hoovered up in the car and uh, make a start on getting it all cleaned up. So let's get on with it. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna try and uh, get this window done first of all, so hopefully the rain will stay off. The first thing I need to do is get this protection film off, hopefully without taking any paint off. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just leaving glue behind. Excuse the noise, it's another one of my neighbors having a loft extension done. This noise has been going on for weeks, very annoying. Right, that's that off. So I think I'm gonna hoover up some glass. Obviously we'll get the door card off and then we'll, most of the glass is probably gonna be in the bottom of the door. So we'll get that hoovered up. Um, so I wanna make it weatherproof first before we uh, tackle the inside. So, so I'm gonna get that done. Um, I'll get that done off camera. There's no point in me filming me hoovering up glass really. And then we'll come back and uh, see if we can get this glass fitted. If you remember on the last video I mentioned about there is a technique of getting this glass to go in properly and to, to um, push into the to the point uh, just here properly to make it when it goes up so it goes up equally. So hopefully we can get to the bottom of that but let's get it hoovered out and then we'll come back. Um, there was a lot of it obviously all collecting down there, down there, all in all the ridges, all in all the um, crevices around there. obviously you need to make sure you get it all out of um, these bits where the glass goes in so I've run a screwdriver down there and up there but along with the hoover oh it's just spitting me rain typical um, just to make sure it's out of all the, anywhere that the runners are I don't want any glass in the runners I think I can see a little bit down there so I'll have to get a torch out and have a look because um, obviously that'll affect the glass going up the new glass so I'm hoping this is gonna this is gonna work successfully. So that I have to shove it into that side to make it make sure it goes up in that runner. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put the keys in. I'm gonna so I can operate the window. And I'm gonna wind the window mechanism down. Uh, I'm not sure how far it needs to go down. Um, I've not really. I say I have done this before, but not that successfully due to the. Uh, that I explained before so uh, it's quite some time since I've done it so it might be a little bit of um, jiggery pokery and I'm not sure from memory whether we need to take these out or not I'm not sure um, so it might be a little bit of messing around but um, I'm gonna put you on time-lapse to do it and then uh, once we've done it hopefully successfully I can come back and explain to you exactly how I managed to do it oh, if I come up against problems then obviously I'll describe those if I have to get Paul the windscreen fella to come and do it for me um, so be it, but um, yeah, let's get on with it. Right, virtually there. I had a, I had trouble getting it. In. Here you've got the hole in the um, the motor, <coughs> the regulator, whatever you call it. I couldn't get oh, sorry the hole in the glass that fits into the thing. I couldn't get it to go um, get the clip, the white clip on the regulator into the hole, but not properly because it wasn't. Hard for breaking a window, so I'm always nervous of doing this. But it's I'm doing it bit by bit. So it's going down fine, going up, it gets almost to the top, 
and then stops. So I don't know whether there's something stopping it from, I don't want to force it. So fine, going down is fine. Going up is not quite so. So yeah, there's something, there could be a bit of glass in here that's still, that's stopping it. So I need to try and uh, have a look in here. Can't f but there was a bit when I was getting it, getting it in there, I had to get the screwdriver in there again and rake a few bits out. So it might be that. Um, ah, there's a bit there. That wouldn't help. Whatever, whatever glass is going to be there, it's going to affect it. I don't want to stick a screwdriver in too much. I just don't want to go making holes in the rubber. There's a little bit on there. Now where is that? Can't see properly. The last thing I want to do is it to pop. <laughs> I have got another one, but that's not the point. No, it's still not doing it. It's still not going up. This is nowhere near as bad as I've experienced in the past. But it, it ain't right. So I think there's something jamming it somewhere. Which is not allowing it to get up to its full travel. I'm not quite sure what. I don't think it might it might be something to do with this um the channel that I've taken off, of course. I don't think it is, but it doesn't appear to be anything there. Let's get a torch down there. Continue having a fiddle and force it. Because I don't want to end up breaking it. Uh, and I'll get Paul the windscreen man to come and have a look, figure it out. But um yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep trying and I'll come back once I've uh, hopefully figured it out. But it's, it's, it's almost there, which is good. Okay, I figured it out. So I thought this clip had come off. So it's got a hole in it, which fits in a little little recess in the glass. Uh, but it hadn't come off. The one from the old window was still on there. And it was in the top of the channel. Hello, mate, you all right? No, no. So yeah, it was in the top of the channel, so obviously when it goes up, it was hitting that, and it was like that. So I'm going to keep that, because sometimes they get lost. So I had to take the glass out again, not out, out, but just, oops, just um, off of that runner that I couldn't get it on before. So we need to get it back in, uh, and then force it again like we did before, over. Tricky little blighters these are. Get it into the runner. Force it over. That's it, I think that's in. And then what we'll do is we'll move it up a bit. Make sure that's in. And then fingers crossed, it goes up now. Let's try it. So down. It's fine. Come on. Yes. Yes. It works. Perfect. Fan bloody fantastic. So that is actually the first time I've successfully done a window. I'm really pleased about that. So Mark at Resurrect, if you haven't um, if you haven't done yours, um, I think you probably have because I think you sold the car now. So I'm sure you have figured it out. But if you haven't, I know yours, yours didn't have a broken window, so you wouldn't have had that little plastic bit that was sitting there. So let me show you the little plastic bit. So it's basically this. Let me just make sure it's in shot. So that sits on the edge of the glass, as you could see. And then it goes into the runner. From underneath, from the bottom, it goes into the runner, which then keeps it in, in, the, um, oop, keeps it in the channel. And by obviously by keeping it in the channel, it doesn't tip forward. So I'm really pleased about that. 
really pleased. We'll keep that. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, put all those trims back on. Um, and then we don't really know about these door cards at the moment. I don't know whether it's worth trying to replace them or not. I think we'll come on to those later. So for the time being, I'll just put all this back together. And I won't bother about putting the uh, door card on for now. Because if I can clean those door cards up, I might as well, leave, I might as well do so. Although they're, quite, they've got, they're stippled, aren't they? So it might not be quite so easy. And to save any hassle, it might be easier just to put those new ones on the black leather. As I say, I prefer those black leather ones anyway. But let's put all this back together. And then we'll come back and then we can start actually trying to um, clean it up. So I'm hoping I'm uh, not having sound issues today. On the previous video, the first one, I had some sound issues uh, with my new microphone. Um, I am sending this microphone back because um, it's just, it's good. The quality is good. Uh, I've just, I have trouble connecting it. Um, and the clip broke. So they're meant to be sending me a new clip, which I haven't received yet, but I decided to... Uh, Get a different one so i've got another one turning up from amazon today so i'm going to send this one back <sighs> she's got a watermelon at home um yes yeah, so i've made a start on this so um I've, I've got lots of bits off of the seats all the loose bits i've hoovered up all the loose bits i've hoovered up all the glass front and back um and now i've got to start taking it all apart really and uh, i'm going to take rather than try and clean them in situ i'm going to take everything off and clean try and clean them off the car i've got no idea how it's going to go i so say i'm going to do this uh, i think what i'll do is clean that glass um see how it comes up before i take the door card off i think th this this door card would be a nightmare to clean i think because it's all stippled so i think it'd be quite difficult to get off i might be wrong obviously the dash is the same material that is stippled as well but i think the amount that's on the dash is not too bad so i think it'll probably some elbow grease in uh, elbow grease and elbow grease as in tss, 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 squirt elbow grease might do that of course elbow grease is a degreasant this isn't oil based paint so it might just i haven't i say i haven't even got the hot water out yet but i'm going to get some washing up liquid and uh hot water in a bucket with a sponge and a cloth and just attack it and see what happens and um, break off what i can i mean I've, bro I've broken off what i can on here i mean some of these bits will still break off on here but um yeah, like that, see? But I'm going to try on various places softening it first. I thought about the heat gun. Then I thought, no, I don't want to damage the seats. Um, obviously, if I heat it up, it might make it go wet again, in which case it'll be more difficult to get off. I think hot soapy water is probably going to be the best thing. Um, failing that, if that doesn't work, I will try the I'll try the IPA, um, the isopropyl alcohol, not the beer. Uh, I'll try whatever I've got, you know, whatever whatever substances i've got that i can get this off with that's what i'll try um some of the bits i'll do in situ some i'll take off like the gear knob you know if i can avoid taking the gear knob off then because you, you tend to damage those gear knobs when you take them off so again you know i could buy a new gear knob i nearly did 12 quid but um if i can get it off i can get it off it all saves all these things save me so let me just show you what i've got down here i'm not sure i don't think i showed you on the previous video so i've got a little so I've, got, I've got that although that's gray not black but hopefully i'll be able to clean that up i've got a sports stick oh that's falling over hang on obviously oh, excuse me sorry stand up got the door cards a bit dirty but need a bit need a bit of a clean um i've got that surround which is black i've got that which is black uh, I've got the bottom bit, which is sorry, the top bit, which is black. I've got that, which is grey, not black, but I can always get a, a black one if it doesn't. Did I say that as black as well? Yeah, that's black as well. So it would obviously save me trying to clean it. But if they clean quite easily, then I might actually try to wear the 101 as well. I've got some weak solution of 101 here, so I might give that a try. Um, I just want to try it on a bit. I might try it on the gear knob first and see what happens. In fact, I'm going to set you up on tripod and we'll, we'll give that a go. Let's do it. Right, let's... Um, I don't know what to try it on first. I want to try it on something that's not going to be too... I'll tell you what, let's, do, let's get this off. So we've got this, which again, you know, where's my bucket? My bucket's over there. I'll just chuck it on the floor. I can always hoover it up again. I've been using a sort of screwdriver carefully to chip some off 
which it's done. So let's I'm gonna let's try the G101. So this, this is only a very weak solution, a G101. Which doesn't actually appear to be touching it. Oh it is, no it is. Yeah, it is coming off, but I mean maybe I need stronger G101 or hot soapy water. Because that, that has come off that little bit, but as you can see, depending on how much you've got, I'm not even sure I'm getting this in because I zoomed in, didn't I? So, yeah, a lot of it, it's going to be a lot of effort using this. So I'm going to mix up some, let's just try a bit on this bit of seat. I'm not sure I'm getting you in, but I'm going to try it on this bit of seat. Let's um, come round. I've squirted it on that bit of seat there. Let's just readjust you a little bit. So a little experiment really. So So I'm thinking a brush. Yeah, that's really touching it. Yeah. I mean, it is a little bit, but this would take an age. Should we try the IPA? Let's see what that does. Let's get that out. I'll just grab that. This is the thing, we've got to try different products. I don't think it's going to damage the leather. I mean, the leather, I will, you know, use some leather cleaner and whatever you want this all afterwards anyway. But let's just give it a try. No, it's not really having much effect. I mean, it is taking it off a bit. Actually, it's working better than the G101. Uh, the, yeah, better than the G101. It is definitely coming off better than the G101, but it's still going to be a, a lot of effort. Hell of a lot of effort. Next thing to do is try the hot soapy water. So I'm going to start taking off bits of trim. Well, I've taken this bit off, uh, and I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to take this into the kitchen and try it with some uh, soapy water. See what happens. But yeah, it's. it's, it's gonna, it, I mean, it'll come off. We'll get it all, all off eventually. It's just a matter of how long it takes me to do it, really. So I, I was really hoping to get this done today, and it all depends on how the soapy water behaves as to whether I can or not. But again, you know, things, as I said, things like the steering wheel, it'll take me an age to clean that steering wheel if it carries on like that. Um, so I might as well just change the steering wheel. There must be a product out there that will remove this type of paint easily. But you know, it's coming off of the, it's coming off of the dash panel, it was just peeling off. So I think on hard surfaces, it's just gonna peel off. Whereas on a soft surface like that, it, not so much. And the material, obviously, is well ground into that material. I don't want to go using things like, I mean, I could you try a bit of white spirit, I suppose. But again, it's not oil-based paint. So is white spirit going to be the right thing to use, really? Don't know. Anyway, let's go into the, I'm going to do a bit of experimentation with this. See what I can get off with hot soap and water. And we'll come back and let you know how we get on. Okay, check this out. So I'll put a little bit of washing up liquid on it. And then I'll just use this scouring pad thing, which hasn't, damage the plastics at all and it's just come off it's just all come off so i think the hot water is definitely going to do the job with a little bit of um abrasion and i don't think it's going to clear the plastics whether that will get off the material or not remains to be seen but as far as that's concerned that is now clean and that literally took me a minute at the moment so i think we need to start need to start taking bits and pieces off i'm going to i'm going to start with a dash panel actually i'm going to take the dash panel off uh, get some hot soapy water in a bucket, bring it outside, and then we'll we'll give it a try. Excellent. So I thought I'd just give this glass a go as well. In the same same way with hot soapy water. There you go. It's coming off. Look, and it's making a bit of a mess, but it's coming off all the same.
once we've got the actual paint off and it's just spread it then I guess it's a matter of just wiping it off and using window cleaner and what have you as I say the good thing about it being in motion is it will just I mean this cloth will just rinse out in a bucket as much as I can here and then before we take this panel off because it's all down here as well so I'm gonna probably yeah making a right old making a right old mess though <laughs> but that will actually looking at that that probably actually will come off of there which is good because that means it will come off the dash so I'm not bothered about the uh the door cards particularly all right I need a bucket of water so I can rinse this off so let's do that first and then uh, we'll put you on time lapse there's no point showing you this in its entirety but we'll get this window clean and then we'll take that off um yeah so let's do the door first and then we'll do all the do the, do all the trim but we'll stick on time lapse for that As you can see, the window, I mean, it needs, still needs a bit of a wipe over, but it's pretty much all around the door. There's, it's, there's put, not put any scratches into it using that scourer. Actually, it has a little bit just there, but actually has it. Yeah, a tiny bit. So I'll, I'll make sure I keep that off the paintwork because uh, it has scratched it a little bit. I mean, it, it will polish out. You can't see that, but anyway, it's covered up by a door card. But um, yeah, I'll keep it off of that. So it doesn't seem to be scratching the plastic at all it's pretty much clean that again it's a bit dusty it will need going over still um, I think the rubber I may actually take the rubber off I think it's easier to maybe try and clean it it goes but all those lumps that were all on the carpet are all um, all gone um, obviously but a lot of the lumps have gone so we're getting there it is going to be a bit of a slog it's going to be i think it's going to take longer than i thought it was going to um but i think i just wanted to try it on this bit first really so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to empty the bucket fill it up again uh, i'm going to take the steering wheel off actually i'm going to start first of all i'm going to sit in here now because it is actually spitting the rain as well again <laughs> ow wet my head um get a i don't really want to use a knife or i don't want to damage the steering wheel i use my screwdriver um, I'm more interested in saving the airbag really more than anything because uh, obviously that's going to cost I'll have to buy an airbag if I can't get this one clean um, so I think it's a case of I don't want to use my screwdriver on it it's a case of warming it up maybe oh look it is peeling off and then um getting hot soapy water on it without the scourer I think I don't want to I don't want to start using a scourer on this bit I'll just use a sponge or something on that bit but yeah it's um it's just going to be a bit time consuming uh, I'm going to actually I'm going to have a go at the, at the gear knob I'm not I'm not going to film every little bit of it but we'll, we'll show you um where we've got to but I'm sort of I'm, I'm quite pleased with uh, how that bit's gone um obviously before as I say before I put door cards on but I think what I'll do is I'll get all of it done to the degree that this is done and then we can come back to sort of the, the little bits of residue off because um, obviously when, we, when this is finished I don't want it to show at all any bits that we need to replace we'll replace I mean again things like this when I was doing this the other day you know it is all peeling off but has the paint when it was thrown got into the mechanism in here I mean obviously they're stuck solid but I could take those out and lube them up a bit but you know we don't know whether the paint's got in there or not because obviously although emulsion paint is relative uh, it may have got inside it doesn't appear to the bits I've taken off it doesn't appear to be but there you go look if I start if I take all these bits off here 
if I, if I was to sit here and take all of these bits off now, chances are that would start moving. So I might be able to save it. I'd rather not because I've, I've got to pay a good 40 quid. And it's, I mean, again, you know, the buttons, you, sometimes you can sell them, you can buy them without the buttons and I can take the buttons off of this one. But if I can save that and clean it up, then so much the better. What would have been better, of course, if this was a cream car because it wouldn't show up so much. Obviously, being black, it shows up the most. So I'm going to carry on. And as I say, we'll come back in stages and show you what we've done. Um, I think to take the airbag off first and see if I can get that clean. Right, a couple of hours or so has passed. As you can see, uh, there's still, there is still some marks on the dash, but not very much. Um, I've got the vast majority off. I've got it all doffed down there. It's a little bit sort of grey and dusty. Um, I haven't touched the seats yet. Um, so I've taken the steering wheel off. I will I will clean the steering wheel up at my leisure. Um, so yeah, some of these, as I've got bits like this, I'm not bothering to clean them. Um, what I have done, unfortunately, is things like that, as you can see, using a scouring pad, I've scratched it, which is a bit annoying. It was all right that side. I didn't need to do it that side, but unfortunately I've scratched it. Um, a couple of other bits of trim I've scratched as well, but I can't be helped. Um, I had to use a scourer to get it off. I've got this rubber, so I was going to try and clean this rubber up. I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm just going to take it off and put a new one on, as I've got one. Um, clean the speedo up. Um, the speedo top and bottom surrounds are, are fine. They've all cleaned up nice. Uh, this, I don't know what to do about this. I don't know if this is going to clean up. I think I'm probably going to end up scratching that. Uh, also, unfortunately, I'll show you in a minute, I've actually scratched the coloured panel as well, which is really annoying. Um, I put, I'm going to put it on and see what it looks like, but I think I probably will get a new one. Um, let's say uh, Club 500, I got one for um, £39, I think it was, so I probably will buy theirs, buy one from them. Uh, it's a bit annoying, but um, I had to use a scour on it. It was the only way I could get it off, and the scour is obviously... It's not a scouring pad as such, but it's a, you know it's an abrasive sort of washing up type thing that I used from the kitchen. So it is sort of a scrubbing pad type thing, whatever you like to call it. Um, so the airbag, um, the airbag I've done. Let me show you the airbag. But again, I think I'm going to get one. Can't remember how much they are now. I think there was one for forty quid. So I've, I mean, I've cleaned it. What have I done with it? Um, I don't even know what I've done with it now. Where is it? What have I done with it? Can't even find it. I put all the old rubbish over there. I don't know what I've done with it. <laughs> it's around. Oh, I know what I did with it. Yeah, it's in the garage because uh, I needed to put it up on its side to dry out because obviously I've used water on it. So um, I've, I've scratched that a little bit. That wasn't with a scouring pad. That was with something that I was. Um, getting it off with but it's come off but there is still some paint in there which is that that's the bit that obviously blows when the airbag goes um, and I don't want anything to stop the airbag blowing should an accident happen and it is it is still a bit on the crusty side so I think I'm gonna get one I'm putting a new steering wheel or second-hand steering wheel on um, so I think I might as well you know when you think when you're driving a car that thing is right in front of your face so I'll keep it as a spare because there's nothing wrong with it it works fine uh, and I might be able to still get some of that out but as far as um, putting it on this car is concerned I'm gonna get a new one um, what else so yeah as you can see here now where is it here and there and there I've scratched it and same applies on that bit as well, it's got scratched. That's come up not too bad. Still needs a bit of a wipe over, but it's not come up too bad. That came up fine. That I'm going to get a new front for. Uh, or get the entire thing and then just swap the front over. That way I don't have to worry about um, numbers and stuff. Um, what else? So yeah, as I, say, I haven't done the seats. Um, I need to take that off and have a go at that, but again, I might get a new one of those because I'm probably just going to scratch the hell out of it. So I'm making progress. Um, 
So I'm going to start putting stuff back together as well. So the, so the top part is done. So I'm not going to obviously put the stereo back in because um, the air vents, I need to fix one of the air vents, the spare one that I've got, because one of the fins is sort of messed up. Uh, and then I can put that in. Um, put that on, put the steering wheel on, put the cowlings back on, so all that can be back together. Um, and then I'm going to attack the gear knob. I've already started around it. Let me go around the other side. Made a right old mess of the driveway. Luckily, as I keep saying, it's emulsion. So it just come off. Um, so I've done all that there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What else? Yeah, sorry, no, I've done all around there. And that wiper and what have you. So they're all done. Um, obviously the seats are going to come out to do those. I haven't done any of this yet. There is a bit more on the bottom of the door. I want to get these door cards. Do I want to get these door cards on today? I don't really need to, to be fair. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these door cards. I don't know whether to just throw them away. Because, I mean, it is a job and a half getting these clean. And they're never going to be clean clean, I don't think. They're never going to be absolutely spotless. So, I don't know. I'll have a think about it. I won't throw them away for the time being. I'll keep them, but... If we ever come across a product that will get this stuff off really easy, then um, it's worth a go, isn't it? I mean, a scrubbing brush probably, rather than a scouring pad, soaking in a scrubbing brush would probably be better. Um, but we'll see. I won't, as I say, I won't throw them away for time being. The other one uh, isn't too bad, so that one will probably come up all right. So I won't throw that one away, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on, uh, and we'll come back and show you in a bit. Okay, so some good progress made today. Uh, obviously, it's still bits all over the floor, uh, well. but that's all clean. The dash is all clean. There are still a couple of little marks, but I don't know if they're paint marks as such or just sort of, I don't know, dirty marks, but um, I'll get those off one way or the other. Um, so we've got the new steering wheel on. I haven't put the airbag on. Um, I'm not happy with it. Um, there's, there's paint within the... I think I showed you, didn't I? There's paint within the uh, centre bit, which I can't really get out. So, yeah, I'm going to get a new one. Um, that's all cleaned up. That's all cleaned up. Again, it needs, it does need a final clean because it's still a bit, you know, a bit white. But the paint itself is off. Yeah. That shortly. Um, the bit that goes on here, I think, is past it. It's over there. There's too much. There's too much paint on it. So I'm hoping. I think I've probably got one of those up in the loft. I'm not sure if they're the same for both sides or not. Probably not, um, but I think I've got several of them up in um, So hopefully I've got a driver's door one and I can just replace it. They're all the same, i.e. it doesn't matter what the trim level of the car or what the age of the level of the car is. Um, but I'm not sure whether they're sided, because they're, oh, I've got the one on that. Now I've taken the one off the other side as well, which I've obviously... Um, am, I, am I right in saying that? <clears throat> yes, I'm. Uh, yeah, I did take it off, didn't I? I have no idea what I've done with it. And, oh, and actually, no, it's probably on the door card because they actually do. That's a good point, actually, because often when you have door cards on the door card, sometimes they get left. Behind. So that one hasn't got one on, and that one hasn't got one on. Never mind. Um, Obviously, one of these doors, it was going to be left. Yeah, there you go. Look, this is the bit for the passenger side. So, actually, once I take this one off and I put this back onto the uh, passenger door, covered in glass at the moment, of course, um, I can have a look and see if it is the same. I think there's a gap in them, so I do believe they are different. Um, obviously, that's got to be cleaned. Uh, I will try and do it without scratching it. There's quite a lot of paint on it, but it is most of it is just on the surface, not apart from those bits. But I, I also had a little go on the, only a little go, but using the scourer on the carpet down there. And as you can see, it's got quite a lot of it off. I mean, it's still a long, long way to go. I did think I was sort of, might, um, I might get this old interior finished. Not, I didn't expect to get the seats done as well, but everything else I expected possibly to get done. My gear knob is all nice and clean. The gator is all nice and clean. I haven't needed, I bought a new gator, but which has come, but obviously that will be for a future project. I won't bother sending it back, there's no point. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut up plane. I'm going to carry on. I'm not putting, as I said, I'm not putting the airbag on, didn't I? I am going to put the colour panel on. 
I'll show you it actually. No, I already have, haven't I? I showed you it earlier. This is the trouble because I'm recording this in bits and pieces. I forget what I've already shown you. Um, so yeah, it is a bit scratched up, but I am going to put it on for the time being, and then I'll. Um, 100 Italia. I went to. They made me an offer. It was 39.99. They made me an offer two or three days ago for 34.99, and I went to buy it, and it kept coming up with an error. Um, I've sent them a message, but I think someone's beat me to it and bought it, which is annoying because um, the, the only other ones on there are really mega expensive. Um, I come to the conclusion this was actually a girl's car, not a bloke's car. Um, reason being, the bags that were in the back. I mean, I don't know what ICOS is, but I imagine it's ladies' clothes. But obviously, the other one is a sweaty Betty bag, um, which is obviously women's clothes. So it obviously was a girl, girl stroke woman. Um, I'm not going to be quick to judge. The reason I'm not being quick to judge is because this could be the result of um, domestic abuse. So, as much as I was laughing in the previous video, I'm not laughing now because I don't know the history of this. It could, it could quite easily be a part of um, domestic abuse. So, let's not laugh about it anymore. We don't know the circumstances. But, at the end of the day, I'll be getting this back on the road in lovely condition. Uh, and it is a bit unfortunate. I, do, I would like to try and find out why. Um, and I might put it out on Facebook somewhere and find out, you know, was this your car? Because uh, it would be nice. Because if it isn't anything to do with the domestic I'll about it again. But as I say, at the moment, I'm not going to. So we are getting there. So I've got all the bits and pieces down here, which are all... Um, covered in paint i'll keep that actually because you've got the fins there if anybody ever fin or i need a fin i've got fins there so um i might as well just keep them so we're going to carry on anyway and do a bit a little bit more um it's a weekend tomorrow i don't tend to work on these at the weekend um i only the, the reason i started doing this in the first place is because my wife was well, my wife works at home now but she used to obviously go out to work and i was off during the week sometimes so um it gave me something to do during the week rather than sitting watching telly or playing PlayStation. Because it'd be nice to get these seats done. It's going to take some time to get these. The back ones are going to be all right, I think. But these uh, front ones are going to take some time. Um, if they don't come up okay, then I'll, I'll get rid of them and get another set. But I don't want the expense. If I can help it, it'd be nice to get them. So there's, there's only specs on the, on the back, so they'll come off okay. But, you know, these are quite bad. Again, it is only surface, but, you know, you've got the material underneath. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it for the time being. We'll come back in a little bit. Right, that's the end of today. Um, yeah, done quite well. I've done a little bit more cleaning as well. I was going to buy a new one of those, but I've cleaned it up quite well, actually. Under, I've done it under the tap in the, in the kitchen. They've, I've just got to get into all those grooves and get all those bits out. So I don't think there's going to be any need to buy a new one of those, <coughs> which is good. So I've put the uh, coloured panel on just for the time being but I will try and get a new one because it is, it is a bit scratched it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad from here but it is a bit scratched so yeah so we need to get a new panel not going to get that anymore um, I've got buttons I've got new buttons that I've taken out of a new out of a, not new you know a, a spare uh, white one that I've got in the in the shed garage um, stereo I've got to sort out the stereo front that's just I think that's just past it that stereo front so there's nothing wrong with the stereo itself just the front um, what else the dash needs a little bit more of a going over I forgot to do the inside of the windscreen because that's got paint splattered up a bit up it so I'll have to put something across the dash and then take that off with a um, with a blade when well, I did have a blade out here someone it disappeared I don't know where it's gone um, with a it was a, a razor blade and what else yeah, so it's, um, I've still got to do that bit down there. I missed that bit. When I take the seats out, I'll um, I'll do all that down there. And then we'll have a go at the carpet as well. So I'm hoping that, uh, like it did over there, the carpet over that side is completely clean now. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but and that is better. Um, but, yeah, elbow grease, warm water, scrubbing brush might bring the carpet up. So there are carpets around. Um, I can get a carpet for about 80 quid, but, you know, I haven't got to do it and I haven't got to buy it if I can get it clean enough. Um, it's got to be it's got to be right, it's got to be good. Let me show you the other side. Oh, 
carpet's perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, so we'll get the seats out next time and give them a clean. So that's it for today. I've put that on. So that's where that thing, what was going on about. So that sits on there and then the door, uh, door card hooks over it. So I need to find one. It does act, there is actually a thing on there somewhere under there where it says left hand. So they're obviously, uh, hopefully I've got one in the, uh, in the loft that says right hand. So I'm going to go and order the bits that I need or have a look. Certainly a, an airbag. I'm sure I saw some airbags for reasonable prices. Uh, <laughs> another reason which I didn't tell you about for, uh, for getting another airbag, apart from the fact I scratched it up and there's, and there's paint in the, in the gap there. When I, I was cleaning this over the sink, uh, with a bucket of water and I actually dropped the thing in the bucket of water. Now I know I could leave it to dry out but I actually dropped it in the bucket of water so there's no, there's no way I'm using that. You know once it's dried out over time it'll be fine as a spare but um, yeah I wouldn't certainly wouldn't be using it for this. So that's it for today so I think we'll uh, call it a day now actually and probably there's enough on this video to uh, give you another video uh, of what I've done so far. Uh, it's probably long enough um so again as always thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button and we'll see you um sometime next week so take care stay safe and we'll see you soon thanks for watching